The future stood there grinning back at me And licking its dry lips menacingly A hand protruded waiting to be shook I returned a vacant dead-eyed look Later on you asked me what I thought Naturally I answered not a lot You know I'm predisposed to hate the guy But still you ask for valid reasons why Talks like a weatherman He talks like a weatherman You said he's a barrister, actually I said, does that mean he makes coffee? You said I was being immature I said that your taste in men was poor He gives you what you thought I never could But give me time and I may yet come good Showers you with sunny guarantees But I swear to you it's just an empty screen He talks like a weatherman Maybe you will tire of his charms And dream of being cradled in my arms And the seed of doubt I planted long ago Will grow and grow and grow I was right And I will help to wipe away the tears With a simple phrase resounding in your ears He talks like a weatherman Talks like a weatherman He talks like a weatherman He talks like a weatherman He talks like a weatherman Thank you. Now, if that was called Weather Girl, I know it would have been inspired by a very own <laughs> storm, the SV Glasgow Weather Girl. But since Weather Man, was it Sean Batty that inspired you to write that song? I wish. I wish I'd crossed his path. <laughs> Sadly not. But listen, you're here on your own. Um, the rest of the guys aren't here, but <clears throat> tell us a bit more about Randolph Sleep. Um, we're a kind of 
folky pop band. Yeah, we released an album a couple of months ago uh, called Clumsy Knot on a record label called Lost Map, which are based on, on the island of Egg. Mm. Ah, um, cool. So yeah, we've just been trying to promote that as much as we can, coming on the TV and all sorts. <laughs> Shameless awesome. plug. <laughs> Excellent, love it. Now, how did the band end up getting together? How did you guys meet? Um, we met at uni, um, down in Ayr. Okay. And uh, I guess we bonded over a, a shared vision to leave Ayr. <laughs> Fair <laughs> and enough. play gigs in Glasgow. Um, so yeah, so went from Ayr to Egg. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. okay. well, from Nairn to Air to Egg. I come from Nairn to Glasgow. Into to Glasgow, yeah. Uh -huh. um, it didn't start off with eight people. It's kind of grown steadily over the last few years. But I think eight is as big as it's going to get. Mm -hmm. How does it feel playing on your own compared it's to scary. playing with someone yeah, on the It's bad enough doing like playing without the band as it is, but doing it on TV is uh, a bit more nerve wracking. Yeah. Uh -huh. And do you do that often, or is this a what, first? TV? No, <laughs> <laughs> no on Regular the yeah, TV. yeah, I know that's it. Um, but playing on your own is without uh, the band is that a wee bit more recently. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't need to split the money with anyone if I do that. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Yeah. Now you played flat zero one, is that right? Well, yeah. What other kind of venues do you like playing around the city? Uh, well, there's loads. Yeah, flat zero one's really good. Um, we played a gig there at Christmas. There's a group called uh, Milk that organise gigs. Um, those are okay. really good guys. Uh, the Glad Cafe is oh, one yeah, of my favourites. Yeah, the it's Southside. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got a really nice kind of community ethos behind it and it's yeah they serve nice food and drink and mm -hmm. it's a really good space it's about the right size not too big not too small what's it like playing at intimate venues like that good i prefer small venues I'm, i don't like big boomy venues no. like that thing over there no. yeah. the, hydro, <laughs> thing, the hydro across the riverside show yeah one day well, perhaps something bigger i doubt it what, what has your career highlight been so far um, well, we, we headlined the Queen's Hall in Edinburgh. That was probably That's the highlight. Awesome. Um, I was sceptical when we booked it, but yeah, enough people turned up to make it a success. It's a bit more confidence, you're fantastic. Go for it. Yeah. And what about 2014, the, the plans for the rest of the year? What's in the cards? Um, I would just keep promoting this album, start recording the next one. Uh, July is quite a busy month. We're organising our own gig. Uh, in the East End, okay. the Bowlers Bar. It's part of the East End Social. It's Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so that's on the 27th. It's called I Can't Dance to This Music. It's to coincide with a song that we're releasing around that time. I do. Uh, we're also playing in Egg. Um, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, the, the record label organised their own Fantastic. festival. Fantastic. Busy so. times yeah. ahead. Yeah. Well, uh, on that note, we will hand back to Adam to play us out with uh, Goodbye, a very fitting yes. song. Um, but we will see you again tomorrow night from 6.30 right here on the Riverside Show. Have Adam, it's all yours. <laughs> Clever to see that you are never satisfied with what you've got. You sit there in your chinos, eating jalapenos, complaining that your mouth is hot. Be an alligator, be a caped crusader, but do you have an alibi? Try on this metaphor for size, I'll metamorphosize into a giant butterfly. Well, I said goodbye so long you're gone I said goodbye so long you're gone Boy you are a sinner finish up your dinner go upstairs and say your prayers we think it's time you dip your toes into the scripture and hope the answers find you there well you wanted to be famous but timmy do you blame us for seeming like we didn't care timmy got dismembered and that's how he's remembered eaten by a grizzly bear well i said goodbye so long you're gone i said goodbye so long It 
looks delicious I remain suspicious Yet I prefer to stay on guard Prickly as a cactus Perhaps I'm out of practice It never used to be this hard Well, I said I was dying You thought I was lying But didn't want to take the chance You sparkle like a comet I'm holding back the vomit You said so much for romance Said goodbye so long